at all. Susan? Mark, the vaccination rate at Connecticut hospitals is pretty high, but there are still some who are not getting vaccinated, and now we are seeing consequences. The push to get hospital staff vaccinated has been ongoing, but now it's mandatory. Those who don't comply could be let go. Yale New Haven Hospital could dismiss more than 100 of its employees. The only exception for a vaccination is a medical exemption. St. Francis Hospital, which is owned by Trinity Health, tells us 95% of their employees have taken action to submit their required documentation. And Hartford HealthCare says 97% have received at least one vaccination and that nearly 92% are fully vaccinated. Their deadline for compliance is September 30th. There has been some pushback against the vaccines. Bus drivers recently testified at the state capitol, telling lawmakers they were worried about losing their jobs. Bus drivers can either get a vaccine or get tested weekly. Look, there'll be some people who say, hell no. And um, I'm sorry, but um, that means you're not safe. You're not safe to the people around you. They cannot come into work. Governor Lamont is also making a big push to get state workers vaccinated in the executive branch, which he has control of. He wants people to know that the deadline to get vaccinated is this coming Monday. And those workers can either get vaccinated, show proof of that, or show proof that they're getting tested weekly. We are live at the state capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Susan, thank you.